Hi Andy, thanks for coming. And we're here at the Superbooth 2018 with Yamaha showing the Sample Robot Montage Edition. And this is a completely redesigned product, uh, the new version 6 of Sample Robot. We're, I think we're about uh, 12 years old now and uh, this is the latest version which is also native for Mac OS X for the first time. So, and what you can do with Sample Robot is just creating your own sample sets and very easily. For example, I, um, I recorded uh, some instruments and some loops for a film music project of mine and this was all done with Sample Robot. Different loops, different rhythms, instruments and I don't have to do any editing I don't have to search for loops and stuff like that sample robots is taking care of all these aspects of sampling and um, one cool thing that we show here at the Yamaha booth is that we have a new export format to the for the montage synthesizer so the Sample Robot Montage Edition is a product that can be used together with a montage uh, synthesizer. You sample your instruments, whatever you have connected to the montage. In this case, we have uh, connected a Reface CS that's connected via the audio input. And then we can sample the sound of that Reface and try to make a sample set out of that instrument. And this is really easy by entering the project wizard. I just speed up the things here a little bit. So let's call the project Reface. Reface CS and project path. I just select my audio input. This is the montage, my sampling format. If I would like to record a MIDI instrument, yes, uh, but you can also record acoustic instruments, choirs, whatever you like, um, no matter what, Sample Robot can do that. And I send out MIDI to the Reface and like to sample 37 keys <laughs> and do that one velocity with six steps. That means uh, two samples per octave and the recording length is maybe let's set it to like five seconds in this case do an automatic loop recognition and just add a little bit of detail uh, this is an in intermediate complexity and we'd like to start the loop at 50 percent of the sample length and now we're ready to go and I start the recording and Sample Robot will now send the MIDI to the Reface, triggering the notes that you can see here. So this is the C and so on and so forth. As you can see in the background, The notes are recorded and you have already the loop set because there's an automatic loop recognition in Sample Robot that, search for, that searches for appropriate loop points. Okay, let's, uh, let's skip that here. And as you can see, uh, I'm playing just the WAV file now, not, no MIDI involved. This is the sound that you hear, and it's basically the original recording of a Reface CS. And as you can see here, it's the continuous sample. The loop is seamlessly, um, has, been, uh, has been adjusted seamlessly to uh, with uh, with recognizement uh, with recognizing the phases with with everything, so you have a perfect loop, and in the in the end you just export this instrument to, for example, the montage library, and then you have it in here as a playable instrument in the montage. 
But of course, uh, in the full version, which is uh, Stamp Robot 6 Pro, you have all the different other formats and you can um, use it in any uh, soft or hardware con context. And that's pretty much it. Thank that's you. Pretty clever. Uh, Thanks. Perhaps for those that don't know this program, can you take us through the interface, just the, the basic setup? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Um, so, um, the, there are several sections. Uh, for example, uh, the, one of the important sections is the peak meter. Uh, you get the input level in here. So you see it's a montage input. Uh, then you have um, the, the keyboard, of course. It's in, in the upper section, in the, in the lower section, where you have uh, the keys that are uh, selected to be sampled. Then you have the main window, which is uh, the wave robot. We call it wave robot. It's a waveform uh, display. And you can uh, zoom in and you can see a sample robot. You can uh, adjust the, the note markers, even uh, if, you, if you would like to do manually adjustments, then you can do that. Um, but it's normally, you don't have to tweak this. It's, it's all done automatically and you can even if you if you like uh, overlay left and right waveforms to see where are the zero crossing on uh, zero crossings on both channels at the same time um, the project is uh, the highest hierarchy so this is the uh, our rephrase CS project that we just created in the project there are the multi samples these are velocity layers in this case we only have one and in the velocity layer uh, folder, there are the samples. And these are my samples that we just recorded. And that's the basics. So you have a lot of settings going, uh, uh, belonging to loops and belonging to transients that you can adjust in the background if you need to. But, but it's kept simple to really make sampling as easy as possible. And uh, this project is 44.1, Yes. what's it go up to? Oh, it's uh, it only it's limited by your audio card, so you can have like 192, whatever, 32 bits. And uh, the good thing is, once you sample a project in high resolution, you can always scale down during or resample during <laughs> export. So you, you can sample it with the best quality and then reduce it to play it in the montage, for example. It sounds like if you've got the capability of recording at 96, best to do that and then scale it down. Yes, that, that's, um, it's always good to have a high quality project and then scale down to your needs because afterwards, if you would like to use new technology, new instruments, then you, uh, you can easily go back to your old projects and just uh, export them at a higher resolution. And is this ver version available now? It's available in June, so this is pretty close. We're entering beta phase now and um, yes, looking forward to the release. Excellent, keep us posted. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Andy.